guys, what's up? Real Talk with Pappy here, Thursday, April 13th, 2017. What's happening, guys? Uh, did you guys have a good night? You know, I had a good birthday, pretty good. Um, enjoyed myself, you know what I mean? Watched a little bit of sports. Red Sox got uh, manhandled against Baltimore. Their starting pitcher, uh, right. He wasn't right. <laughs> he gave up, uh, I think he had about four dingers there, and and so did uh, the relievers, and they took a beating. They played the Pittsburgh Steelers, uh, Pittsburgh, I'm sorry, Pittsburgh Pirates today. Uh, that was a makeup game um, it's from last week when we got the, the rain. Pittsburgh's coming in for a fast one-game series. And then Tampa comes in. Uh, for four game series uh, Monday is the traditional Patriots game which kicks off at 10.30 in the morning at 10.15 um, just the Boston uh, Marathon um, Bruins beat the Senators uh, last night first game of the playoffs and Celtics uh, won their last game uh, I think it's the last game they get the playoffs start next week um so they're in first in the America, uh, I mean in the uh, Atlantic East. So first position, I don't know if that's good or what, but you know, I'm not a too, I'm not too big of a fan of uh, basketball, but I'll watch it in playoffs and here and there and stuff like. That. Like I said, a bas- basketball game is determined like the last two or three minutes of the game, as far as I'm concerned. But the the Red Sox. Uh, they're, right now they're 500 team, you know, until Price comes back, so you, they're 500 team, I mean, pitching's good, and the, the hitting just uh, dies right out, you know, too inconsistent, you know, like I said, the knuckleballer was just like throwing bat in practice, he had nothing, he had no movement on the ball at all, it was just like a coach up there throwing BP, the way they were hitting those rockets out of there, you know. That's what happens when in uh, in batting practice. I mean, they just throw, a, they just screw them over, and they they hit them. I mean, that's basically what he was doing. He had no movement on a knuckleball at all. It was too straight up. It was no bend. He didn't bend. You know what I mean? A pitcher's got to bend. You know, he gets all his power from his legs, and he pushes off, and then he bends. You you, you stand you stand straight up like that. You're just throwing all arms, buddy. You know, so I'm surprised. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't correct that, but he was already getting shelled. That was a lost call. I thought they were going to come back. They rallied and had bases loaded. Sandoval struck out. Um, that would have been a key hit, and then they gave up some more runs. They were just that game was just out of hand. You know, it's too far for them. No poppy this year. There's no dramatic three three run home runs. And, you know, so they have to play small ball, and and the pitching's got to be on for them to win. You know. Other than that, today's Thursday. Mom was going grocery shopping. Um, Bubba went home yesterday. I mean, back Saturday. Um, Cousin Blue's basketball game is Saturday. I'll be videoing that for you guys. It's a championship game. He's all excited. He called me last night. He's all excited. He says, Pap, 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 we get the finals, you know. And, you know we're playing the, the Spurs. His team is the Rockets. We're playing the Spurs. So I said, yeah. He said, I said, you guys, what, you guys were 2 and one against them in the season. They're a pretty good team. They, they have to be top of the game. Cousin Blue's team's got to be top of the game because the Spurs, do, they have like two or three players that really play good, you know. So they're going to have to uh, they're gonna have to step it up if they want to win the, the YMCA 11-12-13 championship. And they have a little banquet uh, proceeding uh, after the game. trophies and uh, uh, pizza for the kids and stuff like that, you know, 
YMCA is always good, you know. You know, and I give a shout out to the YMCA anywhere. They they're good, you know. Um, other than that, same old, same old. Took my truck in to be fixed. It's at the mechanics now. It's got a um, the right wheel assembly uh, was gone. It was making noise and a little play in it, so I had that replaced. And to find out, the left one I had replaced last year, about the, almost the, to the day, has got some movement in it. So that's that's a warranty on that one. So it defective part there. So that's got to be put back. Another one put back on. And the uh, the cap, the cap in the back is uh, it goes up. Uh, it's got, got these like uh, piston shock absorbers. They wore out, so I'm having that replaced. Those replaced. So that's gonna cost a little bit of money, you know. But hey, you gotta keep it up, you know. So you know, you gotta keep it up if you want to ride, right? You know, nothing's cheap. So. Other than that, just, you know, just, uh, like I said, mom was going shopping, and I'm going to give a shout out to all my CMTers there, Shaw Cop Marie too, uh, former muscular dystrophy, it affects my family and also myself, my shout out to my cousins who are affected by Shaw Cop Marie Tooth in Kentucky, Debbie Sue, Vicky, Diane, Bill, um, you know, all of them. Down south there in Kentucky, Indiana, Tabitha, Donna Carter, um, Brandon, my boy, my cousin Brandon France, Mark Thomas. Give a shout out to you guys. Um, shout out to uh, all my cousins and family in New Bedford and friends. Um, need subscribers, guys. I'm stuck at 20 subscribers. That's sad. All the people I know, all you do is got to watch the video, and on the right-hand side of the video, it says subscribe. Hit that. That's it. Press it. That's all you got to do is press that little button, okay? And then every time I do a video, it'll notify you, okay, on your phone or whatever. I would appreciate it. I mean, that's what's going to make this work, you know? I've been putting on Facebook, I've been doing on Twitter, and trying to advertise the show and stuff like that, and the blogs, and it's not working, you know? You know, it's just, I have to go to everybody individually and ask them, you know? I mean, word of mouth is, is the best uh, business, you know? That's, I mean, that's, you know, I was hoping somebody would tell somebody, that person would tell somebody, you know, it is a decent blog. I mean, I do a little comedy s skit with the uh, real talk at night. You know, like I said, I'm going to be bl uh, blogging um, around the city, do some, you know, activities, and, you know, festivals and fairs. And my son laws hot dog truck with fair, a festival, a function he'll be at. Um, just real life, real life. It's what it's called, real talk with Happy. It's just real stuff it's not phony stuff it's not fake stuff it's real stuff that's happening every day in our lives and everybody's you know lives it's just real stuff it's just real talk real talk with pappy you know um that's that's basically it i mean it's uh it's no bull crap you know everybody struggles in life everybody you know I'm just doing a little blog every day, just to show you parts of the city and just talk a little about my life in general, you know. I'm not going to go into full detail of my whole family and stuff like that, that's too personal. But I'll just do little skits of, uh, you know, my grandson outside, like I say, functions, fairs, stuff like that, you know. I want to give a shout out to Papa Grizz 56 and Goofy Girl and the whole family. Shout out to Blind Nation, Johnny at Blind Nation. Subscribe to them also. You know, but I do need subscribers, guys. Views, subscribers, like, shares. I mean, that's what's going to make this work. I, I've i been doing this almost a year now, and it's just at 20. I mean, I think my product is pretty good. I've seen a lot of pe other people's product. Uh, and it 
it's not even compared to mine. Mine is funny, humorous. If you if you were to go on the Real Talk with Pappy at night show, and you were to listen to the uh, to the little uh, radio skit thing I do, um, and all the people that call in and stuff, um, it, it's pretty uh, funny, humorous, and it's only me. It's not people actually calling it. It's me. I do all the voices, all the voices except like uh, Wonder Woman and stuff like that. My wife does that. Or my grandson will do his little Batman, Robin uh, stuff. Uh, and my son's the ball, they do Superman or something like that. But all the voices I do, even the guest stars, and I think it's pretty humorous. I mean, I even chuckle when I play it back. I mean, that's how good it is. I mean, it's just use your imagination, and you get a little chuckle out of it. Everybody should get a little laugh in life, right, every day. Just a little chuckle. You know what I mean? To make your day. But I've seen some videos that they are, like, boring. You talk about certain things, you know, and they just are boring. I mean, they have no, uh, you know, they, they have nothing to, to go, you know, to go on and stuff like that. I mean, it's, uh, they have no content. <laughs> You know, I at least try to give you a little content, you know what I mean? Like I said, I try to do at least a couple a day. I'll do a, one blog and maybe real talk with Pappy. I'll maybe do two blogs and I'll show you certain parts of the city or what's happening or whatever like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I need subscribers, like shares. You know, it's not that hot. Just hit that button there. You know, it's just subscribe. We'll build this right up. We'll build this right up big time, you know what I mean? Maybe we'll get as big as Angry Grandpa. I've seen some of their videos that are pretty good. You know, I, some are real good, and some are just pretty boring, I'm going to be honest. But um, they have the they have the subscribers, you know what I mean? He's been doing a long time, doing 10 years. Mike has been doing 10 years. You know, they built up a product. Like I said, I've been doing it about a year now. Uh, my grandson, uh, cousin, uh, we call him Cousin Boo, got me into this. Um, so, I just want to let you guys know, you got any subscribers, and uh, do, do what you can. And I'll talk to you a little later or tomorrow. Okay, it's Thursday, um, April 13th, 2017. You guys take care. I love you all.